Hi everyone, uh, this is Srinivas. In this video, I'm going to explain another, another important topic, right, for basics of spring. So that is what the Pojo class. Because if you understand the Pojo class well, then only we can write the bean classes. We can say model classes in spring and boot. So first of all, so what is a Pojo? The POJO simply stands for plain old Java object. Plain old Java object. There are some rules to write the POJO class. Rules. See, what are the rules? One by one, one by one, I'll explain. The first one, let me write the code along with that. I'm just taking one class. The class name, suppose I'm taking employee class. Employee. The first rule is what? Class is public. Hence, the object is visible in communication. The first rule is what? Class is public. The reason is what? Every object is should be visible. Should be visible in communication. Because then only they can start communicate with that object. So that is the first one. Second one, the data must be private. It's nothing but variables are private. Hence, one object cannot access the information of another object directly. Suppose I'm taking employee ID, just ID, name, name and salary. I'm taking like this. Make all the three variables private variables. So there is no direct access of these variables. There is no direct access of these variables. So that is the second rule. Third rule is important one. If you don't know, I'll explain in the next video. Object is nothing but a class must implement serializable interface. Sir, what is that serializable interface and what is the use? If you know the concept of serialization and deserialization, right? So you can understand this point or else please watch the next video in this series so that you will get more clarity on serialization. Suppose here, just we need to write the class implements serializable, but the serializable class belongs to IO package. So I'm writing java.io.serializable. Sir, what is the purpose means what? Just we can convert the object state into persistent state. We just convert the object state into persistent state. That is called that is the that is called serializable interface more clearly i'll explain in the next video the next one is a the class has the class has default constructor because if you want to create object without giving any information we need to define one default constructor just empty, no need to write anything. When you use this constructor in object creation process, right here it is, uh, all variables initialize with the default values in the object. That is the next one. Next one can have arguments constructor also. If you want to define arguments constructor, because whenever you are creating the object, Sir, I want to give the values. I want to initialize the object at the time of object creation only. This dot ID, this dot name, and this dot salary. I want to give like this. So the default constructor we are writing as well as arguments constructor also I'm defining. Next, we define setters and getter methods right each variable each property or variable has 
getter and setter methods. Getter method is used to access the information. Setter method is used to setter method is used to give the information set values. So how to define if you know public void set ID is taking the ID and inside that it will set the value. Public void set name is taking that name and here it is this dot name equals to name. And next one public void set salary and is setting the salary is used to set the salary. This dot salary equals to salary. In the same way, getters. Getter means not taking anything, is returning the value. Get ID. When you call, it will return the ID. Right? All three. For three properties, three getters and three setters, you need to define like this. Return this dot name. And next one, public double get salary. Return this dot salary is the one. Right. And finally, a very important one. If you want to return the complete information of object whenever they want to display. Right. Let me show you the importance of two string method along with the execution. I'm taking one more class is accessing class simply to say the main class main test I'm taking main test class in this one in this one I'm defining the main method main method I'm defining from this one first I'm creating the object employee E1 is equals to new employee of. Next, I just want to display all values of employee. Of course, all are initializes with a zero or other default values. String is a null. Salary double is 0, 0.0. But sir, if I want to display, then how to display system dot out dot print ln? Right, even dot get ID, comma, even dot get name. One by one, one by one, we need to display. Even dot get salary. Even dot get salary. This is the way actually we need to, this is the way we need to define. When you are executing this one, when you are executing this one, the output is like this, 0, null, 0, 0.0. This is the simple way of executing. But why we need to call three methods here? Using the two-string method, using the two-string method, easily you can display the value. Using two-string method, easily we can display the value how easily we can display how easily we can display just we override here two string method public string two string method here you just return the value you just return the value simply whenever you are returning this one Whenever you are returning ID, comma, name, comma, salary. ID, comma, name, comma, salary. All the three, we are simply returning using the two-string method. This is the advantage of two-string. In the last video, I explained clearly. In main test, now, instead of printing one by one, one by one using get methods, simply print E1. Simply print what? E1. See? Now, display the values directly. 
sir i want to print one by one one by one then use get but i just want to print all the details at a time use which one getter method i mean two string method you need to use but here no need to call two string method whenever you are displaying the reference automatically it will call the two string it will call two string that is next one suppose if i set the values to this one e1 dot set id setting the values e1 dot set name e1 dot set salary set salary some salary we are setting after that again sir i want to display all values at a time means even we are displaying simply we are displaying even simply that is okay now whenever whenever you are writing whenever you are writing sir i just want to create object using the second concept nothing but creating object and with initialization employee e2 is equals to new employee passing the values 102 name name all the three we are providing at the time of object creation only through parameterized constructor we are giving the values here so object will be created second one sir if i want to display the second object details print directly system dot out dot print ln e2 details i am printing initially e1 details null empty details so if i am setting the values we can display this is one way this is one way uh, why it is giving still means we need to save before run look at this the three values no sir i want to display only one suppose e2 name i want to display then you must go with a getter methods to access the things getter methods when you run the code now when you run the code look at this displaying this one okay in the theory part i clearly explained that is very important point is suppose if you want to create object without any value initial values initial values go with a empty constructor zero arguments constructor if you want to create object with all initial values go with the arguments constructor taking int string double if you want to display all values means what just print the object address by overriding the two string method this is important i want to display only one value means what get method we are using get id get name get salary if you want to give value to a particular one particular property obj dot set id some value like this we need to provide okay so once you define the pojo class properly then we can process that object information right in any order you want that is hope you understood please practice